Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You can kind of see me uh, in the reflection here of the uh, TV that's normally above the battle station. Uh, so we're kind of looking at me through that reflection. Uh, today we're looking at the boxy box, specifically the software. Uh, so I'm going to power it on like you would see normally uh, if you had purchased one. This is all normal. Uh, this screen will take just a second. Um, the product came out in 2010. It was a little ahead of its time and it didn't really catch on. A lot of them sold, but there was a couple bugs here and there and that led to its failure. 2012, the product was discontinued. So it was discontinued pretty quick and it was expensive. It was $200 when it came out uh, and that's quite a bit for a media player. The community really circled around this product uh, and a lot of the people that still own this are sort of you know, media player collectors like myself and, and a couple diehards. Um, real quick, you'll notice something next on the screen. Kind of segues into what I'm talking about. The original operating system was great, but it had a couple flaws. You notice that says Boxy Plus Hacks. This is kind of a custom operating system that is extremely similar to the original that I had installed on here uh, to give me a little bit more features like uh, a music tab. There was no music tab previously. Also, a lot of the apps uh, were abandoned when um, D-Link uh, discontinued this product, so they've kind of revived the app page, and this is all, um, you know, uh, community-driven now. So this is this kind of abandoned product. Uh, it has some wonderful specs on the inside. Go see the review of this product if you haven't. Uh, they are kind of rare to find, uh, but they are absolutely wonderful. So, very, very simple layout here. You've got uh, your friends column. Above that is uh, sort of your login username. It's very social. You can connect it to a whole bunch of different social media outlets like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, LinkedIn, uh, Google+, a whole bunch of them. Uh, watch later is just kind of sort of explains itself you know you're watching something whether that's a podcast or a TV show or something like that and you can't finish it it goes into the watch later section uh, shows it can get this uh, from a lot of places this is kind of uh, shows that I've uh, downloaded uh, and shows that I'm I'm watching uh, but you can also go to kind of the uh, show library down here and this will pull up uh, sort of a collection of a whole bunch of very popular shows like the Big Bang Theory and Suits and Son of Anarchy and a whole bunch of other places but these aren't ones that I have personally in my collection these are ones that are available through a ton of different services so this section here the show library pulls shows from Netflix and Hulu and Vimeo and Vudu and all of those uh, apps in one place so rather than checking Netflix, oh, Netflix doesn't have my show. Let me go over to Hulu. Oh, wait, I don't have a Hulu subscription. Let me go to Vudu because I do have a subscription there somehow. Uh, oh, okay, that, that has my show. This does it all in one place. And you can sort it uh, up in the top right-hand corner. Uh, you can sort it by, you know, popularity or year. Uh, the middle button over here. Uh, that's sorting. That is how is it displayed. This is kind of displayed by tiles. You can change it to display uh, in kind of a row like that, a list, and it'll give you a little synopsis uh, of that. You can display it in larger uh, icons like that uh, if you don't have very good eyesight or you're sitting far away and you've got a small TV. And then uh, to maximize how many you can see at once, you can do uh, that view. So that's kind of the shows section. You can also sort of buy genre channels, my shows, which is your local collection, uh, and then favorites. When you kind of, there's a menu button on the remote, you can switch between apps very quickly. I kind of like to go back to the home page. Now you can change the background on here. Sometimes they have, uh, you know, you could pull from YouTube. Uh, so if you're a big YouTuber, uh, you it will pull up like the what to watch column uh, and you can watch videos straight from the home page here uh, but next we'll go to movies once again it's organized very very similar this is the my movie section all movies that I have owned and not obtained in any uh, illegal fashion 
You can sort it by genre, your sources. Uh, this supports a ton of network sharing. So if you have a NAS or a home media server or a Windows media server or a Windows media share, Boxy also uh, has their own sharing platform. Uh, so you can uh, move things over the network. Uh, it also has two USB ports on it. So if you have you know, a flash drive or uh, SD cards, it also takes SD cards. Uh, you can throw you know, 10, 15 movies on a 120 gig uh, SD card for pretty cheap and throw that in there. Uh, and be able to uh, run those off of local sources. Unwatched is pretty self-explanatory, and then Movie Library is the same thing we've seen in shows. It pulls from a whole bunch of different sources, uh, and these are the very popular ones like uh, Megamind, that one in the middle. I don't have that movie. It's some Disney movie or something. The Lego Movie, I don't have that either. Um, Maze Runner, I don't have that one either. Or Fifty Shades of Grey, that new movie. Um, I don't have any of those, but this pulls from every single app that they have available. Every single app, this is all of it in one place. So if I want to watch Fifty Shades of Grey, it will pull it up on Vudu because I'm pretty sure it's not available on Netflix. Or it'll pull, you know, a certain show up on a different app. So this is all of that in one nice, convenient place, which I really like. You can also check out the trailers section, uh, which is just awesome uh, for uh, checking a whole bunch of stuff. You can see that there's none in there because it normally pulls from certain things. Has a couple trailers for movies that are coming soon. The box office, what's coming up here in the box office. Uh, even though some of these movies are already out that I can tell. Uh, but this is just kind of re to research um, relatively recent movies uh, that you may or may not have seen. So that is the uh, movie section. Next, we go to music. And now music, there's a whole bunch of apps for music like Spotify and TuneIn Radio and other services like that. Pandora is what I normally use. So in the settings, you can set it to uh, automatically go to Pandora or automatically go to uh, something like that. And then it'll pull up the Pandora app. Uh, I don't know why there's Janet Jackson Radio on there. Uh, I guess I just have it. Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe I like Janet Jackson. Who knows? Um, so that's kind of how that app uh, functions. But if you don't like Pandora, if you don't have a Pandora account, uh, you can change that music tab to be whatever app you like. Or maybe it's built-in music. Maybe you have uh, you know, a flash drive full of music that you like listening to. You can customize that any way you want. Uh, we've got the Apps tab, and they have quite a bit of them. Uh, this is uh, great for international uh, users, too. Yup TV uh, is a uh, uh, Indian TV uh, thing. Islam Box uh, is for, uh, it's an Islamic media provider, so if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, Mubi, I think, is also another um, independent uh, international source of television. Uh, and there are many, many pages uh, of apps here for whatever, you know, whatever goofy thing you want. They even have, you know, StarCraft II, uh, Twitch casts, online casts of that. Uh, they've got some open source television apps, which are really great. PGA Tour, just a ton of stuff. Apparently, President Obama's got his own channel here on uh, BoxyBox. So a lot of stuff going on. You can also add your own repositories down here because it's very similar to XBMC. So you can add your own apps. Um, you can also sideload apps. Uh, so there are just a ton of options uh, with this box, which I really, really like. Now you noticed uh, when I pulled up that menu again, uh, over here in the bottom right, and it might be hard to focus on because I'm really, really close to this TV. Uh, it has this um, play button in the bottom right-hand corner that says uh, if I want to play and continue using Pandora, I can do that while I'm uh, still, you know, browsing an app or browsing the web or something like that. It does have a built-in uh, web browser, which works pretty well, if it will focus. Uh, and this kind of resembles Firefox. I haven't used it very much. Uh, on the back of it, it does have a full keyboard, so you can go to whatever website you like and it functions just like a full browser uh, normally would. Uh, the mouse is kind of lame on here. You kind of just use the arrow buttons to uh, roughly navigate. 
Um, but since this has a USB port and Bluetooth, you can easily Bluetooth some sort of keyboard um, or use one of the USB ports to uh, add that uh, to the device. Got files here. Uh, I can, you know, browse my movie collection that I have in here in different ways. I've got a couple of them. It scrolls very, very fast through just about everything. Uh, and then you can kind of browse different sources. This is what I mentioned uh, when it comes to a lot of different file sharing protocols. Uh, that's a USB uh, external hard drive I have plugged in. They also use Apple's filing protocol. Boxy has their own media manager that I mentioned. It also supports uh, any basic uh, UPnP or network file sharing, also Windows uh, network share. So as long as it's on your network and you're a Windows user, you're in good shape like that. Uh, and then the web browser that I had mentioned. Uh, and then the settings are great. Normally, your settings page will look exactly like this. Uh, but when you install the Boxy Plus Hacks operating system, that gives you those additional features. It gives you one more tab down here. So you can set your format, time zone, all that good stuff, weather information, resolution, does full 1080p. You can uh, test a whole bunch of stuff. Also does uh, 3D, how you want to organize your shows and apps. It has a screensaver, different language settings. Uh, and even keyboard settings. So if you have different keyboards and you'd like to type in a different language, you can do that as well. Navigation sounds, you'll hear that little bump as I uh, run through. It's got a bunch of different output settings. Here in the media section, uh, you can kind of change uh, some things here with subtitles and music, photos, other odd things. You can add and subtract um, file sources here network uh, settings here uh, and we'll go over this section in a second um, you notice my host name might be a little bit different than yours that uh, is one of the steps into installing uh, this new operating system uh, but we will go over that uh, in a little bit because I tried doing it and I had a little bit of issues and I followed these instructions that were on the website but the website Whoever wrote it, English was their not their first language, so it was a little tough. Uh, parental controls, that's always good. You can set that if you have, uh, you know, young ones in your house. Different settings that are here. Audio settings. Uh, it does 7.1 um, audio out. Uh, you can put this into a receiver. It's very compliant with different receivers. Updates come out pretty quick. Uh, you can clear all of your whole bunch of stuff in there. And then there's Boxy Hacks, uh, which means you can Telnet into the thing. You can change how I had mentioned here. Uh, music, for example, I want it to go directly to Pandora. You could change it to, you know, going into your built-in media that's there, or Spotify, or Groove Shark, or Pandora or off or just built in. You can toggle apps on and off and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, I'll change it there so that when we go back home, you've noticed that the uh, music app has changed. No sources yet. You can browse uh, for a source there. Also, if you want to go into the app section, the app section is where you can find Pandora and YouTube and Spotify and TuneIn Radio and wherever else you happen to get uh, your uh, music from. So that's about it. It's pretty darn basic. Uh, it's really, really great. Very easy to navigate. Uh, I know one, one thing that I like about this operating system is its simplicity. Even, uh, you know, your wife or someone that's horribly not tech savvy you're not going to get those phone calls. Oh, I'm yawning. You're not going to get those phone calls saying, ah, I can't figure this out or I can't figure that out or I can't watch my stupid show because you got it on your stupid media box thing. This is very simple, easy to use. The remote is wonderful. Uh, it is a RF remote, but you can get Bluetooth remotes, keyboards, uh, and it does have IR uh, pickups built into it. So if you want to program it into some sort of universal remote, you can do that as well. Uh, that's about it for the boxy box. You've got time and weather up there. That will pull up uh, more more of a five-day, three-day forecast. And you can choose your favorite weather source. 
now you all know where I live. Um, and uh, it, it, that's what it pulls up from uh, AccuWeather because that's my preferred service. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, tons of customizations that you can do. We haven't even started to get into that. Uh, if you do have a boxy box, they are great, but if you want to get a couple additional features out of it, uh, I definitely recommend updating to the Boxy Plus Hacks uh, community-based operating system. And we'll go over that in another video. So as usual, guys, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Questions and comments, leave them below for me. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.